Hi, my name is Lauren O'Connell and welcome to my ingredients analysis, application demonstration, and wear test of the Charlotte Tilbury Superstar Lips Lipstick in Princess Kiss. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming videos. My videos help you to become a more informed consumer because I dive deep into the ingredients going into our skincare, cosmetics, hair care, and dental products using evidence-based research. You should absolutely know the ingredients going into your personal care products, and I'm here to help you do just that. If you're not interested in the ingredients, feel free to skip ahead. I have timestamps in my description box below, as well as clickable timestamps pinned as the first comment in this video. Now let's get into the Superstar Lips ingredients. The first category of ingredients in the Superstar Lips Princess Kiss Lipstick are the emollients. And emollients are going to help the lipstick glide onto our skin because they help to reduce the friction between the lipstick itself and our lips. They also make our lips feel very soft, supple, and smooth. And the first ingredient within this category is hyaluronic acid. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos on my channel, you know that I love hyaluronic acid. This is a wonderful skincare ingredient for me because I am 37 years old with dry skin that's prone to fine lines and wrinkles. Hyaluronic acid is a humectant, which means it's a water binding molecule, and this humectant in particular can hold up to 1,000 times its weight in water. It sinks into the skin, holds onto water, and gives us a beautiful temporary plumped up look. This ingredient will help to plump up the fine lines you may have on your lips. Also, we have tocopherol. This is an antioxidant, it's a vitamin E, and it has skin smoothing properties. So with time, tocopherol will help to reduce the appearance of fine lines that you may have on your lips. Tripeptide 29 is an anti-aging ingredient with some emollient-like properties. This peptide sinks deep into the lips and it improves the texture of the lips and decreases fine lines. It helps the lips to look more soft and moisturized and more supple. We also have diosterol malate and this is a very common ingredient that you'll see in many different lipsticks. It has skin conditioning properties. I do wanna point out that the Saccharomyces Sarah Vise extract is actually baker's yeast and this does have skin moisturizing properties. So once again, more moisture for our lips and this sodium chondroitin sulfate helps to increase hydration in the lips. Let's now move on to the thickeners and the thickeners are what's going to give the lipstick its shape and its bulk. I do want to point out that the VP hexadecene copolymer and the polyethylene are both binders. That means they're going to hold all the ingredients together to keep the lipstick from separating. Also the hydrogenated polyisobutene is an emollient and it does have skin and softening properties. Next up, we have the opacifying agents, and opacifying agents are going to make the formula more opaque. That means less clear, less translucent. Please note that colorants are also opacifying agents because they add color to the formula. We have mica in this formula, and mica is a natural mineral with sparkle and shine, so I am expecting this formula to have a nice sheen to it. We also have dicalcium phosphate, which also works as a thickener. So many times one ingredient serves several different purposes within one formula. Finishing up, we have a few different fragrances within this formula and we're having some citrusy type scents as well as a vanilla scent. There's also an ingredient called aroma with flavor in parentheses and this is considered a trade secret so Charlotte Tilbury doesn't need to release what her special aroma scent is. The downside to this ingredient is because we don't don't know what's in it. It could have many different chemicals and we just have no way of finding out what exactly they are. Finally, we have a very common preservative that I see in many different lipstick products. 
That wraps up the ingredients analysis. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed learning about the different ingredients in the Princess Kiss lipstick. Let's now move on to product packaging. The Charlotte Tilbury Superstar Lips Princess Kiss lipstick comes in this maroon packaging with soft gold writing. It's very similar to all of Charlotte's other packaging. She always sticks pretty much with the same aesthetic. At the bottom, I see that it is 1.8 grams, which is 0 0.06 ounces, and it retails for 34 US dollars. On the side, she has written a magical lip look for a magical mood. And on the back side, with this light pink shade, which I'm assuming is close to the lipstick color, we can see all of the different ingredients. This formula is made in Italy. Before I open up the box, I do want to point out that there is an 18M open jar symbol here. That means that once you use this lipstick, you have 18 months until it expires. When I open up the box, I pull out a long, slim tube that's about as wide as my pinky. When I pull off the lid inside, I see a beautiful pink lipstick. And I am picking up on a vanilla scent. It is a very common vanilla scent that I have smelled in so many different lip products. I'm now going to remove my lipstick and we'll try on the Princess Kiss lipstick together. My lipstick has now been removed and I am going to apply the Princess Kiss lipstick. The lipstick to me actually does quite look like a princess kiss. It is a very soft pink, almost on my lips, but better. This is a great shade to have if you have very dramatic eyes and you wanna have a very soft, natural lip. That's what this lipstick makes me think of. I'm now going to do my very scientific wear test and take a sip from a glass and we can see how much lipstick transfers onto the glass. So as you can see, we do have some transfer of the lipstick. And I'm not surprised because this isn't supposed to be a long lasting lipstick. This is more of an emollient glossy type of lipstick. Overall, I have to say that I just love this lipstick. I wasn't so sure when I first saw the shade and I began applying it, but now looking at it, it's beautiful for day-to-day -day use. It's great daytime lipstick, but also if you do a very dramatic smoky eye, and I'm thinking in my mind of using Charlotte's Rock Cheek Palette because it's all smoky grays and silvers, this lipstick would complement it perfectly. It really is like a princess kiss. It's just a, my lips but better type of look and I know that I will use this entire lipstick up. The price of it is really over the top. $34 is a lot of money for this product and to me this shouldn't be more than $20 but Charlotte Tilbury makes luxury cosmetics and her cosmetics are expensive. That's you're going to pay premium when you buy her makeup. So for me, I can overlook the $34. And to be honest, I'll probably buy a backup because I like it that much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my ingredients analysis as well as the application and my thoughts on the product. Please give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know what you think of the Princess Kiss lipstick and if you think it's worth $34. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Subscribe now to Lauren O'Connell Beauty TV and let's navigate together through the world of beauty.